Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, this is an interesting news item that is coming out of Intel that's kind of testing waters basically right now. So Intel is, of course, the maker of a lot of hardware. But, you know, what is mainly seen apart from the GPUs that they have is that, you know, Intel processors that run in computers and, um, you know, it's a big majority of PCs run uh, through Intel CPUs. Now, uh, for a long time, and the PC, the way that it works, okay, in Windows, for example, is that we've had 32-bit systems and we've had 64-bit systems for a long time. They were kind of going uh, together. So in Windows 10, you can have a 32-bit version of Windows 10 or a 64-bit version of Windows 10. And so if you have an old CPU that does not support 64 bits, well, you can still run Windows with the 32-bit format. Of course, it will limit you to certain things, and it limits you in many of what the hardware can see. In 32-bit systems, the limits are smaller, so less RAM can be visible, for example. Um, now, when we look at uh, CPUs today, uh, most of them are capable of 64 bits, but they have the capability of having, um, you know, you run 32-bit systems. So you can, in a 30, uh, a 64-bit machine, still run a 32-bit Windows. And of course, in a 64-bit Windows, you can run 32-bit apps. So this is something that, of course, exists, and. Um, even though Windows 11 it was the first Windows operating system that does not support 32 bits, apps within Windows 11 can still be 32 bits running um, in a 64-bit environment. Now, Intel is actually on its way to look at maybe releasing a 64-bit only CPU architecture. Now, for a long time, we've been calling 32-bit uh, CPUs x86. Why? Because it simply means they're compatible with the x86 from you know really old Intel 8086 and 8088 and so on and you know the the, uh, the uh, 286, 386, 486. They were all ending with 86. It's the chipset kind of you know instructions if you want. So um, we would call x86 the 32-bit version. And we'd call X64 a 64-bit version CPU. The proposed CPU would be an X86S, 64 bits only, which means there would be no more support for 32-bit apps and 32-bit operating systems to run on. Of course, that changes the game, it means a lot of software from the past would not be compatible, although you could still run virtualization and have them run through virtualization, which also means could be a little slower. But in a standard Windows operating system, for example, Windows 11 would run on that, but you wouldn't be able to run old software that hasn't been updated to 64 bits. So this is interesting. Uh, that would be a game changer. That would be um, a big game changer, introducing a, operating, a, uh, a CPU, a processor, that would not be backwards compatible with old 32-bit systems. Um, Intel isn't releasing it yet. It's kind of testing the waters, wondering, should we go that way or should we continue making CPUs that, even though most of them now are using 64 bits, could still be you know, compatible with the old 32 bits. Going to be interesting to see if they do it. Um, why not? We're going through the future, and the future is different. Um, and it already shows in Windows. Windows 11 is the first Windows with 64 bits only. And frankly, most of the, the new software is all 64-bit run. So it's going to be interesting. Um, will they go forward with it, a uh, x86s CPU? Uh, we're going to see. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.